Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this is my uh, uh, first challenge lock, my uh, checks and chess, although it's more of a, a novelty lock. Um, it looks like a six pin key, and this confused me, and in my haste to make um, this challenge lock, I didn't even notice that pin chamber uh, uh, six isn't actually a, a real pin chamber. All the powerful spring at the back does is it normally forces a ball bearing into a little divot uh, in the back of the core as an anti-bump uh, measure and to stop the, the core f uh, flopping about. So I have got a pin in there, but it isn't really doing anything. And and this is where the, that would, ball bearing would sit. So this is actually only a five pin lock. So my four chess pieces and my checker stack are in there. It does, however, work really, really nicely. Um, I have picked this uh, before just once and I have to say that it is slightly more challenging than I expected. The feedback is all over the place. Um, and because of the shape of the pins, you get some epic um, uh, false set. You get an epic false set in there. So it goes from about here to about there and doesn't open. Um, so the only advice I can give anybody else who tries to pick this in the future is lightest and lightest of tensions. Okay. So yeah, a bit of an oversight on my part uh, when I was making this a bit, bit hasty and, uh, and and didn't realise that this isn't actually a six pin lock, but that's okay. Um, but the, the core, as you can see, doesn't flop about, so the uh, serrated pin in chamber one is obviously doing its job. Um, let's go in there with the Sparrow's Euro hook first and uh, see what we can get. Just going in at the back, lightest of tensions, feather, feather light tension. The shape of the pins is such that they'll probably get damaged if you... Um, Put too heavy tension on. Um, pin four. Three. Pin two now. Going to cancel on two. Pin one's now binding, and I think that's uh, now set. You see already we're We've probably got many false sets, but I mean that's a relatively steep angle for a false set in in, in any lock. Um, five. Okay. Four. Three, two, one. Still on a false set. Let's go back to the back end. Uh, so five. Gentle, gentle. Drop something, that's fine. Five, four now. I think I'm getting some cancer rotation on three. Anything on two? Another one on two? And definitely it would drop three again, I think. Very hard to be light on these pins with um oh, and they were open. Here we go. So just gosh, you have to be so light with that. So there you go. Was it challenging? Um only because you have to be so so light with those pins. It's a five pin challenge lock, it's a bit of fun. Um and uh the one thing I'd say is don't probably don't go above uh, 90 degrees on the turn of this because uh, there's a very powerful uh, spring at the back uh, that will shoot a um, a, a uh, driver pin straight down but possibly into this core which I don't really want to happen so let me just turn that back so there you go that was my checks and chess lock picked um, I won't gut it but what I will do is I'll encourage you to look at my uh, uh, previous video and at the start of this one to have an idea and the end uh, of the idea of what pins are in it. Okay, um, just to show it works perfectly fine. Um, I will be uh, passing this around to a few other select people uh, to have a go at too. All right, I will see you next time.